family. I was just taking a nap and whoa, wh what's going on? Why am I covered in string? Dinosaurs, was this you? Uh, this book says what the dinosaurs did last night. Dinosaurs? You did this? <gasps> well, I'm gonna read this book and find out. This book says, well, that's the title, What the Dinosaurs Did Last Night. A messy adventure. This is a messy adventure. Silly dinosaurs. The author's names are Reefy and Susan Tuma, and they work together to make this book. This book is really, really silly and really fun, which is some of my favorites, but it's also, to me, really special because it's made by taking pictures. So the author of this book, and, um, it's kind of the illustrator too, and they didn't draw the pictures, they took photographs. So they took their toy dinosaurs and they put them in silly positions and then they took pictures of them, maybe with their phone or with a special camera, and then they typed words on the computer to go with the pictures and they put the story together. So this book inspires me to remember, I can make stories too. So if I'm at home, I could move my toys around, take pictures, and put some words to it. You could try it too. When we're done, I'm going to ask you if you want to send me a picture of your toy doing something silly, and maybe we'll write a book together. So sometimes books have illustrations, things that people draw, and sometimes they have photographs. This book has photographs, and they're photographs of the toys. So I just took a picture of these guys, and maybe I'll make a book about it. But let's get to it. What the dinosaurs did last night. A very messy adventure. If you like this book, there's another book called What the Dinosaurs Did at School, I think. It's so much fun. Let's see. We have a letter to start. Someone wrote us a letter. Let's read it. To whom it may concern. That means you. That's the way some people start a letter when they're not sure who they're writing to. Sometimes they say, Dear Abby. But sometimes when they don't know who they're writing to, they say, to whom it may concern. That means whoever's reading this. You probably heard stories about toys coming to life when no one's watching. Maybe you don't believe that stuff. But if you're reading this, it means weird things have already started happening in your house. Oh my gosh, this letter is covered in mud. And I also see footprints. I wonder who made those footprints. Dinosaurs, wow. So you can decide. If this book is fictional, that means imaginary, or nonfiction, or factual, that means real. Some people believe that their toys come to life, and some people don't. It's up to you. But I think it's fun all the same. What the Dinosaurs Did Last Night, that's the title. A very messy adventure. Oh my gosh, I already see things that they've done. What's that? They knocked over a plant? Oh no, not my precious plants. I would be so sad. I wonder what else they'll do. Oh boy. It usually starts with a mess you can't explain. Your parents will think you did it. You might try to blame your dog, but it wasn't the dog. Uh-oh, I wonder who it was. See the photographs? It looks like there's a big mess in their house. There's a shoe ripped. There's a flip-flop bit. Oh boy, what a mess. Who did that? Dinosaurs? Oh gosh. Better not be you. I see you up there, Velociraptor. <gasps> it says, it was dinosaurs. You guys made this mess? Can you believe it? Dinosaur starts with a D. D, D dinosaurs. I know some of you guys know special names for the dinosaurs. I see like a T-Rex, maybe a Brachiosaurus. Shabari knows a lot of those. Let's see. Dinosaurs are always hungry. That means the kitchen is the first place they'll go. They'll lick all the lunch meat, they'll chew up the cheese puffs, and slobber in the salsa. Ew, I don't want dinosaurs into my food. So the first place they go is the kitchen because they're super hungry. Oh my gosh. See the picture? What do you choose to eat when you go to the kitchen? I hope you clean it up when you're done. These dinosaurs look like they didn't. 
Now this is really fun for me to imagine because I know that the author of this book created it by taking pictures. So he must have, he or she must have had to open their fridge, put their dinosaurs in there, and then make a big mess. Oh my gosh. I can't imagine. But that's the photograph they took. Let's see. What room did they go in next? What do you think? If the dinosaurs find your toys, they'll want to play. Next thing you know, they've toppled your block towers. They've stuffed your stock, unstuffed your sock monkeys and trashed your checkers. Oh boy, looks like they're making a really big mess in that room. Would you like it if dinosaurs invaded your room? Oh my gosh, is that what your room looks like? My room gets messy sometimes too, but I always make sure to clean it up. Usually on Saturday and Sunday, I do a lot of cleaning. Do you clean your room? Don't blame the dinosaurs. You gotta clean it up. <laughs> I wonder what room they'll go to next. So we've been to the kitchen, the bedroom. Hmm, what other rooms are in the house? Oh no, where are they now? This says, your parents probably don't let you play in the bathroom. But dinosaurs aren't very good at following the rules, huh, dinos? Oh my goodness. So what are they doing in the bathroom? What do you see? It looks like this dinosaur is trying to shave. You don't even have any like hair to shave, silly. They're playing with the shaving cream. Oh my gosh. I like playing with shaving cream too, but is the bathroom the right place you think? No, we usually play with shaving cream on a table safely or in the sensory table. And it's important to ask a grown up first. Do you think these dinosaurs asked a grown up? Silly dinos. Oh my gosh. Oh no, what room are they now? It says, it's the worst when they get into your parents' stuff. Nothing is safe from dinosaurs. Oh my gosh, Mr. Jordan went like that. Look what they're doing to that guitar. They're ripping up the strings. Oh no. And in this picture, what did they do? You guys really like playing with yarn, huh? You got into someone's knitting stuff and made a big mess. Silly dinos. We'll have to teach them how to be safe and helpful. Oh boy, I wonder what room this is. Whatever you do, Keep them out of the laundry room. Oh, the laundry room where we, what do we do in the laundry room? Oh yeah, we wash and dry our clothes. Dinosaurs are dry clean only. That means they can't go in the dryer. Oh boy. You guys can't go in the dryer? No. See all the bubbles? Looks like they use the detergent or the washing from the laundry to make bubbles. Oh boy. And that one's wearing what on his head? A sock. Silly dinos. Ay, ay, ay. Dinosaurs get into the most trouble while you sleep. Just like I was asleep on my nap and these dinos covered me in yarn. Sillies. The scratching sound you hear late at night. It isn't a three-eyed monster. It isn't a bunch of bats. The dinosaurs are up in the attic trying on all your mom's old clothes and getting into your dad's old comics. Oh, sorry, I said doll clothes. All your mom's old doll clothes. Oh boy, that one's wearing a wig. Silly. These dinos know how to create mischief. Mischief means when you're doing something that you're not really supposed to be doing. Oh boy, what are they doing now? Check out the photograph. That means picture. Don't get too worried, they aren't all bad. Most people don't know this, but some dinosaurs dabble in drawing or play Picasso with paint. Oh, they're painting a portrait. That means they're painting a picture of another person. That's so fun. Wow. Sometimes they go too far. Oh boy. What happened? So first they were painting on, it looks like a small, piece of paper, but now where are they painting? <gasps> On the wall? Is that safe or helpful? No, dinos, we only paint on paper. 
yikes. I wonder if the author and illustrator really had to paint on their wall. It looks like they used spray paint. Spray paint is a special kind of paint that it's in bottles and when you shake it up and spray it, it makes paint, but it's a little different. It gets sprayed on just like that. I wonder what they'll do next. I wonder how the people will feel when they see this house. Kind of like Goldilocks when she was in the Three Bears' house. Let's see. Pretty soon, you'll probably try to stop them. Everyone does. Maybe you'll tie them up with a jump rope or lock them in the closet. When that doesn't work, you'll keep trying. Don't bother. The dinosaurs can get out of anything. <gasps> so no matter what we try, they're going to escape? Oh boy. This says free food, totally safe. And those are traps. It looks like the dino got trapped in those. Ooh, oh boy. And this one got, this one tried to get the hot dog and it got stuck in a rope trap. Wow, the author of this book worked really hard to make these um, special scenes for us to take photographs of. Wow, I'm gonna take a long time. Anything, dot, dot, dot. So remember, they're telling us that the dinosaurs can escape any trap. So this was a wooden box and it even had a big, thick lock on it. But the dinosaurs persisted, that means they kept trying and they succeeded in escaping. That means they got out. How, what kind of trap do you think you can make for a dinosaur? Think about it. Something you could use to trap them. Hmm, what could you do? Hmm. Yeah, I think that's a really great idea. Now I see three dots, dot, dot, dot. That's called an ellipsis or an ellipsis, and that means that something else is coming. We have to turn the page to find out. <gasps> Dinos! That's an enormous mess! Oh! The dinosaurs will cause more and more trouble until they make a mess so big and so messy, you won't even be able to believe it. I can't believe you made that muddy mess. M -m muddy m -m mess starts with an M. Yikes, how did you get all that mud in the house? Goodness gracious. Then one day you'll wake up and your house will be clean. Huh. No broken dishes, no spilled milk, no marks on the walls. A few days will pass, then a few weeks. You'll wonder if the dinosaurs will ever come out again. You might even question if they were ever really alive to begin with, or if you made the whole thing up. Don't be fooled! That's what those big words say. Don't be fooled. So it says that the house has been clean, and everything seems okay, so we're confused. Hmm. That's exactly what they want you to think. They're, try they're trying to trick me? Dinos. Whoa. And then, oh, I forgot to show you the photograph on this page. It looks like on this page, what do you think they're doing? Yeah, it looks like they're working on a rocket ship. Hmm, they've got lots of wires and tools. It looks like they're trying to build their own rocket ship. I wonder where they're trying to go. And this page has no words, but I see a dino right inside of that rocket ship. I wonder where they're gonna go. That book is so much fun. This says the dinosaurs were here. So again, this is what the dinosaurs did last night. You guys are so silly. Come down here. I can't believe you made such a mess, silly dinosaur. Will you help me get out of this yarn? Okay, thank you.